We all know about Power BI's formatting pane and how much time we spend with it to get our reports and visualizations looking just right. So in today's video, I want to share a quick tip that'll hopefully give you some of that precious time back. Hey there, Microsoft Fabric family. My name is Dennis, and I'm a Power BI developer here at Centurus. No matter what BI tool you use, and Power BI is no exception, we've spent countless hours modifying our visualizations, whether it be changing the font, color, size, or the hundreds of options we have at our disposal. So let's start by comparing how it's done in Cognos and Tableau, because that's always the question. I used to do it this way, but how do I do the same thing in Power BI? If you're a more experienced Power BI user, you may already be familiar with this, but if you're new to Power BI or have a Cognos or Tableau background, stick around because I think this could make your Power BI journey so much easier. Let's check it out. All right, so to make format changes in either Cognos or Tableau, you'd start the same way by selecting an individual component of an object or a visualization, and you're presented with its corresponding format properties. So in Cognos, if I select the primary axis of this visualization, I'm presented with the format properties related to the primary axis. Same goes for the legend title. If I select the legend title, I see the legend title format properties. And in Tableau, it's the same idea. So if I right click on the primary axis and select format, I'm presented with, you guessed it, the format properties for the primary axis. I think you get the picture. Now this works great because I only see the format properties of my selection, but Power BI does things a little different. Let's see how it works. In Power BI, instead of selecting an individual component to see the related formatting properties, you select an entire visualization to see every formatting option that exists. So when I select this column chart in Power BI and go to Format Visual, I now see every possible formatting option for this chart. And while it's great to see all the options without having to select a specific component, you quickly see that there are so many options here that you might end up doing more scrolling and expanding and collapsing to find the specific property that you want to update. So what Microsoft smartly came up with is a format property search box. So if I'm wanting to change the title font in this column chart, instead of scrolling and hunting for that specific font property, I could just search for it. If I type font into the search box, the search results return every component that have font properties I can change. So we have data labels and here's our title font. Much better. This is really great because I can quickly get to the property I want to customize, but it's also nice to see all the font related components I might want to consider making a similar change to. And if I didn't use this search feature, I'd have to know that the title font is under general and title, title again, and here is our title font. So by using the format property search bar, I can now quickly find the format property I'm looking for, especially if I don't know where to look. And I can also start to batch formatting updates for similar tasks all in one place at the same time. So I really hope you found this quick tip helpful and you're spending less time in the formatting pane and more time creating insightful visualizations. If you'd like to see more of this type of content, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, if you're using another BI tool and you're curious about how to accomplish certain tasks with Microsoft Fabric, leave a comment and I'd be more than happy to help you out. Happy visualizing.